Even backers of this measure to honor Hank Aaron admit that it would be a heavy lift to rename the bridge that they want to rename. Here's the pitch by Downing, swinging. Hank Aaron was one of America's greatest baseball players and an Atlanta sports legend. There's a new home run champion of all time. Lester Maddox was governor of Georgia 50 years ago. Aaron quietly fought Jim Crow segregation laws. Maddox was an attention-grabbing segregationist who chased black people away from the restaurant he owned near Georgia Tech. Now, admirers of Hank Aaron want to rename a bridge named for Lester Maddox, now marked with Black Lives Matter graffiti, to honor the Hall of Fame ball player who died last week. This is something that's in its very beginning steps, but it's something that I'm very excited about. I think it's a wonderful way, again, to honor an amazing Georgian, an amazing man, someone who has done so much, you know, for a sport, absolutely, but did so, has done so much for humanity and done so much for Georgia. The Lester and Virginia Maddox Bridge over the Chattahoochee River honors the one-time governor and his wife, whose portrait hangs in the state capitol. The bridge connects Atlanta with Truist Park, home of the Atlanta Braves. The proposition to rename it echoes an effort which failed two years ago to rename Savannah's Talmadge Bridge, also named for a segregationist Georgia governor. But State Representative Terry Anulowitz thinks the legacy of Maddox has soured since lawmakers first named the Maddox Bridge in 1999. Lester Maddox and his restaurant that he had over in Midtown Atlanta and you know, chasing black customers out with an axe handle. I mean, that's a legacy that a lot of people remember when they think about Lester Maddox. Lawmakers haven't finalized the bill yet, Backers say they are still in talks with Hank Aaron's family about how they would like the bridge to be renamed, a measure they expect to introduce in the next few days.